Today we're going to talk about a handful of really great last minute gifts for the overlander, off-roader, or camper in your life, which could even be you. I'm going to talk about a handful of knives, gadgets, and camping gear that I think are really great. Now Kate and I have used pretty extensively everything on this list. We are not sponsored by any of these brands, and we paid for all this stuff with our own money, with the exception of one thing, which I will mention when we get there. So you know these are true recommendations. And last I checked, when we filmed this video, everything was in stock on Amazon and available for two day shipping. Let's go. Hey there, I'm Will, and thanks for checking us out today. Here on Venture to Rome, we create videos about our epic adventures out west, about the installs and gear that we actually use, and other fun overlanding lifestyle videos. So thanks for joining us today. Okay, let's get into it. Last minute gifts. Okay, the first gift on my list is the SE6 bushcraft knife. Now bushcraft knives were originally designed in Australia for survival in the bush. And the great thing about using them for overlanding is that they can replace a bunch of tools because you can use them as a cooking knife. You can use them to split firewood and kindling. Um, you can even use them as a hammer. So uh, that's why I really like this knife and it's really, really useful gift. Let me show you mine. This is the SE6. The knife company is SE and it's a six inch blade. And you can see the baton here goes all the way through the handle and that's where you could actually use it as a hammer if you needed to. But it's got a nice long blade for cooking. Um, you can uh, use it to split wood if you need to. And so I have used this a lot since I've got it and I really, really like it. This knife costs about $130 which is a little expensive, but it has a, it comes with this really nice handle and it comes with a great sheath. So this sheath just pops in there and it's really light and easy to attach to whatever you want. It has a clip on there if you just wanna put it on your belt. So I think this makes a really great overlanding gift. The other bushcraft knife that's definitely worth a mention is the Ontario Knives Rat 7. It's a seven inch blade. I think it's designed by the same knife designer. Um, and so it's very similar to the SE6. It costs, I think, $80 instead of $130. What you don't get is a really nice sheath and you get a bit of a softer uh, wooden handle, but the knife blade is almost exactly the same and it's just as useful as the SE6. Okay, the first gadget on my list that I wanna share with you is this. This is the Garmin InReach Mini. I bought this maybe three or four years ago and I love it. This is a little teeny tiny powerful GPS communication device. So this little antenna connects to the Iridium GPS satellite network which keeps you connected no matter where you are off grid. I consider this to be a safety essential if you're going to remote locations and are off grid because it lets you communicate and give breadcrumbs and pin drops to people. So if something were to happen, they would know where to start looking for you. It also has an SOS button. So if you're truly in an emergency, you can open that up, press that button, and it, and it contacts local emergency services to come get you out of a situation that is very, very bad. Kate and I take it with us on every single trip, and we use it the most for sending text messages to people to let them know where we are, or emails to people with a pin drop of our location. Um, we also use it a ton to check the weather. So we, we might pull into a remote location and, and not really know what the weather forecast is gonna be. And depending on the elevation that you're at, it might be very different from what you checked online before you left. So this can dial into the dark sky uh, weather service via the GPS location and give you your general weather forecast, which I have found to be very, very useful. Um, so you kind of know what to expect when you're staying someplace really remote. The price of this thing is $300 plus, and it does have a monthly subscription that you can get that allows you to send more messages at no extra cost. But I will say this is a safety essential, um, and it's also really, really useful. Now you don't have to get the Garmin InReach Mini, but what I like about this is that it's so small, it's so feature rich, and it's really powerful. I've never had a problem connecting to the satellites. So that's an idea. The next gadget that I want to talk to you about is the Midland MA275 GMRS radio. Now, you may or may not have heard that CB is dead. I'm sorry to say that because I love CBs, but the reason that they're dead and GMRS is now king is because GMRS radios are just way, 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 way better. 
Um, and what I love about this model is that all of the controls are in the microphone. So that means that you don't have to install your head unit inside the interior someplace taking up a bunch of space. For example, my head unit is in my center console, so I never see it. And I, when I need to use my radio, I just plug this in and I have this right there with all the controls, volume, menus, channels, all right here. And when I'm not on a trip, I can just put this away and it doesn't have to set out there taking up space inside my rig. So that's why I love this and it makes a really great gift. Okay, let's talk camping gear. Now, one of the things that's the most important for me at camp is really great, really strong coffee in the morning. And Kate and I started using an AeroPress about two years ago, and it has changed our camping experience. So what's great about the AeroPress is that it's really small. All of our coffee, including the coffee grounds, we carry in this one little case. And here it is. So this is the AeroPress. Now, it is a single serve. You can make a concentrate and then dilute it with water to make more coffee, but we always just do single serve, um, which some people don't like. But what you get is somewhere between a French press and an espresso. So when you make the coffee out of this thing, you get a nice like froth on the top of your coffee and it makes that really strong kind of French press style coffee, which is just delicious. But outside of its compact size and the amazing coffee that it makes, here's the thing that I think is the best for camping and overlanding. And that is, it doesn't take very much or any water to clean this. So here's the way it works. After you're done brewing your coffee, you take off this cap and your coffee is right here and you just pop it out into the trash right in the trash and then you just wipe off the top and you're ready to brew again. So there's no water rinsing out coffee grounds. Um, the coffee grounds go right into the trash so they're not kind of mixed in with other rinse water and thrown around camp. So it keeps a cleaner camp, but it's also faster and more efficient to make coffee. So that's why we really love the AeroPress. And this thing runs about $35 or so um, and is worth every penny. We love it. So I think it would make a great gift for somebody. Speaking of coffee, let me show you this, which is the Yeti Stainless Steel Coffee Mug. Now, I haven't always been a massive fan of Yeti because their stuff is really expensive. Now, it's also, I think, pretty high quality, but what I love about this is that it's high quality and it's value priced. I think these were about $20, and let me tell you why I think they make really great camping or overlanding mugs. Um, number one, there's no handle. And I know some people like to have a handle on their coffee mug, but it packs a lot better if there's no handle sticking out. And it can be multiple things. So this is my coffee mug, my wine glass, and my whiskey tumbler. I just rinse it out and put the next thing in there. It never carries a flavor or a smell of what was in there before. So it's really, really useful. And it's double walled. So it keeps the cold things cold and the hot things hot. So this, um, is a really great thing. We've given this for gifts to other folks already and they're all using them. So if you do give this as a gift, uh, you'll probably see whoever it is using this right away, probably not even camping, they'll use it at home. So we love these, great gift. Okay, when you're at camp, one of the first things you normally have to do is start a fire. And I have two really great products to share with you. One is the Yuko Sweet Fire Fire Starters. We've been using these all season and I love them because they're small They're easy, you just break off one of these little squares here. And I just light it um, and kind of use this as a long burning match to kind of get everything else lit and then throw it in the middle and let it burn. So that's the Yuko fire starters. The next fire starter I want to share with you is Bigfoot Bushcraft fire starter. Now I have to be fully transparent. They sent me these for free, didn't pay for them. I'm not a sponsor, I'm not an affiliate. They just reached out and said, hey, will you try these out? And I did and I like them, that's why they're in the video. So let me tell you why. Number one, I like that they're a USA company. This company's based in Colorado, which I think is really cool. Uh, number two, I like the tin uh, that keeps everything inside relatively dry and safe and packs into my gear really easily. Number three, I like the flame. Now these things look like a small waxed cotton roll is kind of what it feels and looks like. But the flame coming off of this is deceivingly big. So instead of using these kind of like as an extended match, like I do the Yuko, I, uh, I break these in half, I light it, and I kind of build the fire around these. Uh, and so I like that. It's a little bit different, a little bit nicer flame than the Yukos. 
and I'm gonna keep using them for a while. Now, I do think that they would probably, uh, they're not on Amazon that I know of, so I don't know what the shipping's like, um, but they got these to me really quickly, um, and they're shipping from Colorado. So if you're ordering in the US, my guess is they'll be able to get it to you within a few days time, at least I hope. Okay, the last thing on my list that makes a really great gift for anybody who does camping or anybody who does dishes is this. It's the MSR dish scraper scrubber. This thing is so incredible. Um, it's got this nice edge right here for scraping, uh, you know, baked on or fried on or just kind of scorched pans. Uh, it's great for getting eggs off. It's great for getting, you know, just char off. I really, really love it. And then this... Uh, brush is it's a really stiff bristle and it really gets everything else off and it's it's made to use on non-stick stuff and this is probably the number one most valuable thing I've ever bought because it costs like five dollars and it has changed the way in which I do dishes at camp. It used to be drudgery, now it's really fast and efficient. So this could be a stocking stuffer, it could be a present for somebody who, whoever it is that does the dishes in your, in your convoy, um, but I have really loved these MSR kitchen scrapers and very, very highly recommend them. So those are my recommendations for last minute gifts for the overlander, off-roader, or camper in your life. If you wanna see any of these products in action, tune into our YouTube channel. You'll see them, you'll recognize all of these things in our videos, because we're constantly using them at camp, on the road, in the rig. So I hope you tune in to watch more videos from Venture to Rome. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful holiday season with people that you love, and we'll see you next time.